Hello everyone, I am Mantra, AK Mantra Savan and in this video I am going to explain you a solution for problem D of round 794 division 2. The problem is linguistics. I already explained this in a video with all ABCD editorial but the approach was just fresh from the contest, the one that I used in contest so it was a bit long and maybe some of you weren't able to understand. So in this one I have simplified that approach. So again, I'll just briefly read the problem. We are given a string and four numbers A, B, C, D. And we are supposed to figure out if you can make the string from using A number of capital A, B number of capital B, C number of string A, B, and D number of string B. So just as example, if given string is this, then we can make it uh, like A, B plus A, B here b a plus b here a b plus a b a b plus a something like this we can do something so that is our question we are given the number a b c d and we are supposed to figure out if we can make the given string or not so first thing to realize is just check the number of characters that are there are that proper or not so if there are x number of a in the string s then x must be equal to a plus C plus D right similarly if Y number of B then Y must be equal to B plus C plus D so first I'll check both this condition if they don't hold any of them doesn't hold then the string can't be made so I'll just print no and return but if this condition is satisfied then that is a chance that I would be able to form so if this condition is satisfied then what should be my main focus? My main focus should be to see if I can fit C number of AB and D number of BA in my string as somewhere or not. Because if some capital A and capital B are left alone, then they will be handled by uh, A and B because we have ensured the numbers. So, so my focus now would be just on C and D if I can fit C number of capital AB and D number of capital BA in my string as or not. So for that you can uh, realize one thing that we only care about the substrings with alternating character and the reason if there is some substring with continuous B's then you can't fit either BA or AB in it. So my first task would be to decompose S in substrings such that the characters are alternating. So for example, I have given a string S and the decomposition of this will look like uh, this. So first I'll do A, B, A, B and then B's are continuous subtrings so they'll all get separated. Then this B, A, B is here. Then this B, A is here. This A is, will get separated and at the end a b a b a this is here so this is my decomposition and i'm doing this for multiple reasons first reason is i'll get rid of this single b's because they can't either make capital a b k or capital b a so i'll get rid of them i'll get rid of the single a's i'll get to know the string just b a or just a b because just b a or just a b can only make b a or a b so I'll just, you know, count number of capital B in this, subtract that from D, count the number of capital A B in this, subtract that from C. Because we found that many capital A B and capital B. So after removing this, I'll be left with only two types of string. String starting with A B and length more than two. So A B A B A B or it can end with A B A so either even length or odd length and similarly string starting with b so when you reach here you will also realize one more thing that if the string is of odd length so i'll just make a string of length 5 a b a b a then how many strings you can make of the form a b comma b a so let's try to maximize AB. We can make 2AB 0BA. 
just this or you can make one ba another ba so you can make zero comma two or uh, yeah or you can also make one ab another ba so you can make all three combination and if you think about it for a minute you'll realize that you can actually make all the possible combination of ab and ba such that sum of them is equal to uh, string size by 2 string size minus 1 by 2 to be precise so basically odd strings you don't even have to store the string you can just store size minus 1 by 2 because that only will denote how many ab plus ba you can create so that deals with the all the odd size string after which will only be left with even size string with alternating characters so that will basically be what i have written here so these are basically all the strings that we will be left with after doing that process and now our goal is again similar we have to make c number of a b's and d number of b a's from this and remember c and d are updated from this i have subtracted this from c and d already because that i have found so now it's easier to see that we'll use this string to make as many a b as possible and this for as many b a as possible and the reason is uh, again simple i'll explain it with one example so again let me take string of length 6 starting with a so it would be a b a b a b and again i'll make you know this pair how many a b comma b i can make so 3 comma 0 is definitely there what happens when i make one b so if you realize if i make one b here i'm effectively losing this a this a can't be paired up with any one so which means one combination will be lost if i take this b a then similarly this b would be lost so again one combination one pair i can't make so if i make at least one b a from this then total strings uh, that i can generate will reduce from 3 to 2 so if i make one ba then i i can only make one ab so this will be one comma one or i can make both bas like taking this ba and this ba so for another example if the string was of length uh, let's say tan then i could have made 5ab0 this or even if i make one of this then my total strings that I can make reduces by 1. So I can only make 3 of this, then 2, 2, then 3, 1, and then 4, 0. So this will be the distribution that I can make. So if you can see, if from the string starting with A, I'm making uh, just AB strings, I'm getting one string extra. So that's why, that is what my goal should be. That is what I should try to do. So yeah, that is what I'll do from all the strings of this form i'll try to make uh, strings of ab until i exhaust c so as soon as you know c becomes zero so i've generated all the strings of ab that are required from the remaining string of this form i should generate only ba i'll get one less but still i'll get ba right so i should get ba if i've exhausted all the c so that will be one part and similarly the same thing i'll do with ba star first i'll try to make all the strings of ba form until d is exhausted if d is exhausted then i should use these strings to generate a b again i'll get one less but still i've exhausted d so all the strings that are remaining i should get as many a b as possible so i'll again generate a b from this and at the end uh, I'll I'll have some value of C and D left, which will still denote how many strings are required. And if the final required string is you know greater than or equal to that odd uh, is less than or equal to excuse me yeah. So the odd string generation, then it is fine. We can make or not. And odd 
like if you remember i told you s minus 1 by 2 but we didn't use it else so what i'll do is i'll iterate through all the odd string and i'll sum up all the s minus 1 by 2 so let's say i'll store that in variable called any and as you can see here it can transform into any combination so i just have to check the sum of c and d if sum plus c and d is less than or equal to any then i'm completely fine i can do you know whatever combination possible but if it is greater than any then it will be a problem so this is the complete solution you just first have to separate the s into this such strings then you know greedily make all the ab from this type of strings as possible and if you exhaust all the ab's then you can make capital ba and you have to make ba type of strings from this and if you exhaust ba then you should try to make ab from this so i think you will understand better when i go through code so let me just do that <coughs> sorry about that uh, yeah so first i'll just take this inputs and this is the condition that i checked for number of a and number of b's so this part of code is to transform the string into this substrings of alternating characters and that is pretty simple whenever the character isn't equal i'll continuously push back into a string temp and whenever it becomes equal i'll just push temp in my vector clear temp and just you know push back s of i again so that it continues and at the end also i'll push back temp into my vector and i'm just sorting all the v so that you know structure is proper it's not actually required so now this any will store this odd odd string uh, conversion from odd string how many string that i can make that will be stored in any and small a b small b a are just this vector so so i'll iterate through all the strings in vector v if any of them are odd then i'll just add size of i by 2 into any it should be size of i minus 1 by 2 but like in integer division it won't make any difference when this is odd so i just did size of i by 2 but if it is even then there are two cases that i have to consider if the size is 2 then you know it is for sure either going to contribute to c or going to contribute to d so that depends on the first character so if first character is a then i decrease c else i decrease d because i basically found one of the a b strings that i can make so for that yeah sorry about that so in if size of i is not equal to 2 then what i have to do is i have to push back into either a b vector or b a vector depending on the first character so if first character is a then this string of is of this type a b a b a b and again one thing to realize is i just care about the length i don't really care about full string because i know the structure of the string so i'll just i'm just pushing back size of i by 2 which basically denotes which basically denotes this number so how many maximum number of a b i can make from this string so i'm just pushing back that into my a b vector and similar in case of b a i'm pushing back that into my b a vector how many maximum number of b a i can form and after which it is simply just iterating through vector a b and checking if c is less than or equal to 0 and yeah keep in mind that c can be less than 0 because i'm just subtracting here without thinking about it and it's fine i'll you know make it max of 0 at the end you can you can do different implementation but this seemed easier to me so if c is less than or equal to 0 uh, 0 then it means that i've exhausted c i have all the necessary number of a b that i want now my focus should just be on b a so make d zero basically so for that i'll do a b of i minus one because as i explained the potential of b a from a b vector is actually one less than the number of a b that we can make so that is here but if c is greater than zero then i'll just check if current string a b i uh, if i subtract that from c if c is still greater than zero or not if c is still greater than zero then i'll make all of them into a b so just subtract this from c else there might be a case where 
we are using one one combination so basically c was only one so we can extract one more ba string from the string so for that i'll just you know subtract abi minus c minus one because as i've explained even if you make at least one uh, capital ba from the string your total potential reduces by one so this is total potential reduced by one and minus c because i'm making c strings of ab from this so only this i can make of type b8 so that i'll subtract from d and i'm taking max because it's possible that it was exact so i exactly needed three strings so this will be zero and zero minus one minus one but actually we are not subtracting minus one we'll subtract only if we can make so that's why this condition is there and i'll just set c equal to zero because we we are exhausted c we have found all the strings of capital ab possible so this part is for ab vector and i'll do same but mirrored with ba vector so wherever is ab i put ba wherever is c i put d wherever d i put c and again this is understandable as now in this case we'll just try to make all the d as as possible and if d is exhausted you'll move on to c so if you just see the code it's same thing if d is zero i'll making all the c's otherwise i'll try to make d but if some string is uh, you know exhausting d and has some potential to make c then i'll make c from it as well and at the end uh, this part is also really important because it can be possible that uh, c became minus two and d became plus two some of them is zero but you actually still need two d's for sure you need two strings of type ba which annie has to supply right because that is our only source web so for that i'm just setting the max of zero so this will become zero and two so annie must be two in this case so after that i'll just check that yeah if c plus d is less than or equal to annie then i can make that combination for sure because as i've explained in odd case it is all it is possible to make all the pairs of possible combinations and if not then i just print no so yeah this is the more simpler solution where it is you know symmetric for both a b and b a so it's easier to understand what's happening and yeah this problem was nice the main point to realize was this division because i've checked some solution and everyone has done this only so i think this was important part to realize after which after which you can think about how to put the strings into which group and i think most logical thing would be a b and b a you'll also come up with this so if you if you'd have figured out that you had to divide with alternating characters then i think you would be, you would be moving in the right direction so yeah this was it if you have any queries then do put in comments and please like share and subscribe thank you